Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're gonna discuss something interesting. So in previous episode we have discussed installing Windows XP and Linux on IBM T42, which is old machine, but I mean still capable because Windows XP is still like not modern, but it's still usable. At least you can find some usage for it. But today we're gonna to discuss something different. Today is all about Windows 98. You know, this old operating system, which is always crashed all the time I mean in my experience I was using it for like four years it was crashing like many many times because like every single program which crashes usually drag the whole system down and like the whole system just completely crashed but still this operating system was interesting because it was quite relatively lightweight and and the machine back in those days the specs were not, not that great so it was able to run on like uh, typical home machines there was not much Windows NT stuff because because current versions of Windows are based on Windows NT, the old versions of Windows were based like some combination with between DOS and Windows and Win32 API. So basically, it was kind of a mix of both worlds. It was kind of transition. And Windows XP was actually attempt to combine those together. And actually, Windows XP was not stable up to Service Pack 2 or even 3. So yeah, Windows XP had a long way. But still, Windows 98 is still usable mm, on very old hardware. But today I'm gonna try using this on not old hardware but relatively modern and I mean this Optiplex 780 computer which is basically I purchased it like five years ago for like 100 bucks off eBay and it's still fine I mean it it uses the core 2 quad processor you can install all the modern parts here you can basically adjust it the way you want but how to do it with Windows 98 so let's actually discuss it I've already installed the Windows 98 on this computer and uh, it was not easy <laughs> the only way to actually install it was to install it on a virtual machine first then grab this virtual machine disk image and install it on the hard drive which I have here so I just copied all the files to this hard drive uh, made this hard drive bootable before I did all that uh, copying process from the virtual machine to this uh, hard drive I uh, formatted the hard drive I made it a FAT32 system and then I copied the system files over there like boot record MBR and all this but basically using the command uh, sys and then providing the drive letter you probably know this does stuff if you're watching this video but I can provide this down in the description below so you can actually do it for yourself if you want it but it's not easy to install this one the the big problem here is the memory limitations because Windows 98 is not supposed to run on anything higher than 1 GB of RAM so in this case you need to set up your computer accordingly let me actually show you everything right here so I start the computer and I go to buy BIOS. All right, so in the BIOS, you need to set up your computer properly. So first of all, you need to, let me think. Uh, all right, drives are properly configured. Diskette drive I disabled, but in your case, maybe it makes sense if you want to boot it. Well, let's say that not from the CD, from, but from the diskette, you might want to reconsider it. Performance, this is the most interesting part. So multi-core support, which enables using multiple cores and processors, this one should be disabled. So disable this one, uh, if you want to try Windows 98, then in uh, post behavior, I mean, depending on your BIOS of course this is a Dell BIOS uh, here we need to uh, disable uh, enable this option sorry this option limits the memory to 226 MB so basically exactly uh, the amount of memory is enough for Windows 98 not even installing but even running so it will not run there's a there's a catch you can actually adjust one system file system any and right there so that it runs on uh, with the computers which are higher than 1 GB of memory it's still not the great solution out there so I have everything configured this computer computer is way too modern for the Windows 98 but let's try it anyway so I rebooted so this says that actually the bias is limited to 56 MB but if you want to continue press F1 because this uh, this mode is only supposed to be for installing a system, not for actually running so it's like F1 to continue I press it sorry this is actually Windows 10 I forgot this is different drive I have <laughs> let me reboot into a Windows 98 drive I need to unplug it so this is what happens when you try Windows 10 on this on 256 MB of RAM all right I guess it should work let's hope mm -hmm. all right F1 once again Windows 98 
Okay, as always, uh, Windows 98 has a lot of problems with the disk drives because back in those days the disk drives were really, really vulnerable. There was always some problems, either like glitches where it was completely stuck and like you rebooted it. So I mean, and now the system drivers are complaining about some system drivers missing. I press here, I press here again, again, and then it finally starts booting into um, Windows 98. All these problems like this. And again, and this is the problem here, it doesn't have a PC2 mouse, it's a USB mouse, so you need to actually have PC2 mouse, I don't have it, so like for me it's gonna be a problem. But there's another thing, um, somebody on the internet created the version of Windows 98 supposed to be running from the CD, like from the CD drive, I actually just uh, downloaded just to try it to see like how it works. Let's try that one with the CD drive, so I'm gonna plug the CD drive and let's try that. All right, and now it's booting the live CD. <laughs> I mean, this is just small, sorry, small stripped down version of Windows 98. The thing is that it works with the mouse and you're able to log in into Windows. Cool, it starts plug and play. Uh, all right, it's found a new laptop. Okay, default driver, start the process of detecting the hardware. You remember in all those old versions of Windows, it was like lots of based on detection of the hardware. It was kind of plug and play, but it was still like lots of detection going on, like provide a driver, blah, 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 blah. Always like a blue screen of death in case something doesn't work. All right, so it's detecting the default driver. Okay, it says <laughs> you need to reboot it, but if I reboot it, it's all gonna reset because it's a live CD so I'm gonna press no oh all right default driver no <laughs> this is how it is I mean no I don't have it cancel come on just press the not install driver but honestly don't even try this live CD because it makes no sense it's all outdated it's better to actually install like real legitimate copy of Windows 98 to an actual hard drive and then like use it if you can of course it's like not really easy to do that those days because of the modern hardware but this live CD just allows like to just start it and see that it works nothing more than that all right so it finally Okay, uh, what are the details of the crash? Uh, blah, 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 some exception. Does it even load? Because I had success loading it. No, I guess no success loading this one. It's stuck. Well, that's strange. I had it in the past. It, it was loading here. By the way, this closed program dialog, as you can see, it used to be so simple. There are like three buttons and list of processes you have. Control, out, delete. If you press again, it just restarts it. Boom. Now let's, let's boot from the hard drive again. Okay, on board SATA hard drive. I need to press F1 to continue and then immediately F8 to select Windows 98 startup menu dialog. And we're gonna select, we can try safe mode in case it actually works. Let's try the safe mode actually. I think the mouse will still not be detected at the safe mode. Uh, let's see. By the way, the loading of Windows, even on a modern hardware, it takes a while because Windows 9X, basically any, everything between Windows before Windows 2000 was took a while to load. It's not because of the hardware, it's because of the optimization. So the boot optimization is really, really bad on those versions of Windows. And it's supposed to load in like, I don't know, 10 seconds <laughs> or less on this hardware. It takes like a minute, I guess, or so. But I mean, guys, can you remember this old logo of Windows 98? Even seeing this logo makes me smile. <laughs> <laughs> so many memories with all those old games actually one of the reasons why I decided to configure this hardware is because to be able to load all the DOS games and uh, since it, I'm able to load in the command prompt see if you press F8 you're able to load the command prompt you can basically like launch all your DOS games if you want so this actually works all right oh it's actually loaded in safe mode which is nice okay let's see if it works mm -hmm. It takes a while, but it still loads something. Okay, some error occurred. Let's see if it boots to the desktop. All right, some other error. I actually installed an official service pack here. I mean, unofficial, I mean, because there was no service packs for Windows 98 SE, actually. This is SE, second edition. There was no service pack, but still, I installed all the patches from like an officially compiled, like community kind of service pack. This is interesting. I'm actually able to run it. <laughs> Guys, this is fun. I can launch Windows Word 97, for example. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh, it actually loads. Registry cleaner, my documents. Uh, what's actually here? Programs, accessories, startup. Oh, 
no it's actually interesting i can all this kind of old programs i had back in those days welcome to windows <laughs> how many colors are there 16 colors are there wow can i actually use more no this is the limit yeah because i don't have any drivers yet win top oh it actually shows the running services Windows 98 So one of the reasons why you might want to install it is because to use this command prompt to run all these old games Which is right here if you run them as DOS in safe mode you risk corrupting the video display blah 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 And it actually works like this and it's actually a real MS DOS mode not like in the Windows 2000 or XP or later This is like real MS DOS. I've heard like some people saying that it's not possible to run at all in modern hardware It's possible. It's with all the problems with all the driver problems If you find drivers for the specific hardware, it's still possible to run Windows 98 But I think running this in a virtual machine probably makes more sense Okay, it asks for the MS, MSN Internet Access and blah 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 Yeah, I don't have that uh, Outlook Express was the program back in those days I used for reading mail because a reading from the a reading mail from the web was not really a thing back in the 90s. I remember I had lots of fun actually going to the Windows folder and like completely destroying the whole Windows folder by just deleting everything, deleting all the content and seeing like how operating system actually behaves. All right, links, text labels. Oh, active desktop. This is the thing. View is the web page. Does it work here in the safe mode? No. Customize my desktop. Yeah, how many schemes it have? Oh, Windows standard, Windows pumpkin. Uh, how about this one? Oh my gosh, Blah. this is horrible. No, if I type Winver, uh, Windows 98 copyright 1981 to 1999. Interesting thing you might want to try after you run this all that is basically to type SFC. SFC is basically a file. It actually checks the whole file system for the corrupted files and it restores all this in, in case uh, it can. So it actually restores all the necessary files and it works. So it's interesting that in safe mode the USB driver actually works. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my computer I guess and remove this. USB driver ahead. Performance device manager it's somewhere here. I got universal serial bus. Yeah, probably I'm gonna just like remove all those and see how it works now because there's there's some drivers missing. That's why it doesn't work. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please press the like button and subscribe. That's really helpful. And if you passionate about all those systems please comment down below i'm gonna release more videos about using dos using the old games from the dos era and old programs that i used back in those days it's gonna be interesting experience for you i guess all right thank you